I'm Sinead Davis McLean, and this is how I work it. I'm going to take you through 24 hours of my beauty and wellness routine. The Ooh La La Dance Line is a part of the Howard University Showtime Marching Band. Throughout the football season, we perform in about 13 games, and the Ooh La La Dance Line was also featured in Vogue World 2022. So on a normal school day, I wake up around 7 a.m. So the first thing I do is get up, take a shower, and then hop into my skincare routine. My skincare routine is super important, especially wearing makeup throughout the week consistently because I wanna make sure that I have a very clean face to put it on, and whenever I take off makeup, I still have a nice, fresh, presentable face to go out in public. <laughs> I first start off with the Neutrogena Foaming Scrub. And then I use the Grapefruit Acne Moisturizer. And then I use the Cocoa Butter Stick on my face, just rub it around. Um, and that's important for the dark spots that I have and different pimples that come throughout using makeup. So after I'm done with my skincare routine, I'll have a light breakfast and then get ready for my first class. Um, I'm just gonna get a little ice. I'm gonna get my bag of mixed fruit here. Yeah. I should always put an outshine bar. I got the amazing flavor. Put some honey. And then this is how you make a smoothie with snail. So after breakfast, I'll put some fitness clothes on and then get ready for my first remote class, which is at 9 a.m. So my fitness class, it is a requirement for my major, but it is also something that is really important to me. So it's helped me stay toned, feel my best, and as the current 2022 to 2023 ooh -la -la dance captain. After I'm done with my fitness class, I have roughly 20 minutes to get to campus for my first in-person class. So it is now currently 9. 51 and I have nine minutes to get to campus. So I'm kind of in a rush, but we're gonna make it. I think the most difficult part about balancing my school schedule and dance schedule is kind of prioritizing when I have to get an assignment done before practice or if it can wait till after practice. I and mean, just also prioritizing different things that have to be done on the team, whether that be to come in with choreography to teach the team or different ripples and stand routines to teach. After my 1 p.m. class, I'll head home and make myself some lunch. So for that remainder chunk of time before practice, if there is any, I usually try to get in a quick nap and just relax before practice. And if there's something that I have to get done before practice, whether that be finish up some choreo or figure out routine stands, I'll do that. So one of the major tasks as a captain is to choreograph our different field features. So I work alongside my co-captain um, with the help of my team members' input to create um, about two minute long field features for each game day. Typically our practice schedule is Monday through Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. And as we get closer to bigger highlight games such as homecoming, practices can be extended. So I'm gonna be doing a very standard ooh -la, la game day makeup look with our signature red lip. So the first product is a primer. It's the Kiss Pro Touch Gold Primer. So the next product is the Control Freak by NYX. And this is just to control my eyebrows and get it ready to be tamed. <laughs> So next I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with a light brown eyebrow pencil that I get at a standard beauty supply store. I'm very particular about my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so next I go in with my concealer. I love the LA Pro Concealer. I usually use a lighter shade on the bottom and a darker shade on the top, just so it's not really too harsh when I blend out the top of my eyebrows to my foundation on my forehead. Next, I'll just go in with the concealer brush to blend out the lines that I just put on my face. So next, I'm gonna get into my eyeshadow. This is the NYX HD Concealer. Um, I usually put a very light concealer on my eyeshadow lids so that the eyeshadow pops more. So next, I'm gonna get into eyeshadow. The team has a signature eyeshadow palette so that we're all on the same record when it comes to different eyeshadow colors. So this is the iSeek palette that we got from Amazon. And this palette consists of different colors, different reds and dark purples that we usually use for game days. So next I'm just gonna go in with like a warm brown tone eyeshadow on the top of my lid. Whenever I'm doing eyeshadow now, I always try to do more instead of less um, because we do dance in big stadiums, sometimes during the night when there's bright lights. So we do wanna make sure that we put more on rather than less so that it can be seen. And then I'm gonna 
go in with like a, a dark orange color just to blend out the um, brown a little bit. So a large part of all of our makeup looks, especially the eyeshadow, in, consists of a cut crease, whether that be a full cut crease or half cut crease. So I'm gonna go in with that same NYX concealer that's very um, much lighter than my skin tone. So I have what they call like hooded eyes. So I do a little bit more dramatic cut crease, which I just bring up the cut crease a little bit higher than my natural cut crease. But I learned this little trick on YouTube. You just put the concealer at the very bottom of your lid and then you just like blink and you bring it up and that'll show you where your cut crease is. But I usually go a little bit higher so that you can see it and it's like visible. Before joining the Ooh La La dance line, my makeup skill level was non-existent. I've never really put makeup on and I never wore it casually. So coming onto the Ooh La La dance line, it was very different because we have to do our full makeup in here by ourselves. So my advisor told me day one that I had to figure it out, get on YouTube, look at some tutorials, and figure it out. I finished my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna go in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner to line my lids to get ready to put my eyelashes on. So I usually prep my lashes by putting on a grip bond. It also has like aloe in it, so it helps with my growing of my own lashes. Now I always put a lot of glue on my lashes because we have really long game days and you never want your lash to fall off during game day. <laughs> Glue does come in white, but I always use the black because it helps connect with the eyeliner that I just put on so that it's just more seamless to put on. So I prep my lashes so that they can get tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara to my regular lashes so that when I put the false lashes on, it'll help blend and look a little bit more seamless. Okay, let's go ahead and put these lashes on. And after I put my eyelashes on, I always go on with the second brush of mascara just to help fill in and blend both my eyelashes and the false lashes. I am going to go in with my foundation. This is the Matte Poreless Foundation by Maybelline in color 360 Mocha. I really like this foundation because I think it gives like really nice coverage and it lasts a whole game day for me. Make sure you always get under your chin. So next I'm gonna go back in with the concealer that I use on the top of my brow, which is the color Toffee. So I'm just gonna target important parts of my face, under my eye, in the middle, in the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead, and then on my chin. I love, love, love this contour palette. True complexion, I get it off of Amazon. And next I'm gonna slightly contour, kind of like the bridge of my nose to get it a little bit more sharper. I'm gonna get into a very important part of our look, which is our blush. I've never found a blush that fully shows um, on my skin, so I actually use my eyeshadow palette. That's a little trick of mine, I use my eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go in with this kind of deep pinkish, red color here. And I always smile when I put it on my blush so that you can really see exactly where you're supposed to put it. And my advisor loves blush. Whenever we do makeup checks, she's always looking for our blush. She's like, do you have blush on? I'm like, yeah, I have blush on. <laughs> and next, a part of that same True Complexion palette, I'm gonna go in with some highlight. I usually don't use a lot of highlight. That's just my personal preference, but I do use a little bit. Okay, so we're almost done. We're gonna go in with our signature red lip. So this red lip is very important. It is a signature um, of the Ooh La, La Dance line to wear our red lips with our fabulous red costumes. So every year we pick out one specific red lip that the whole team is gonna wear. It's very important that our red lip is the same. Our advisors are like complete sticklers about having the same red lip. Like they'll go around doing makeup checks. So the red lip that we chose this year was the Super Say Matte Ink by Maybelline. Um, but before I put my red lip on, I usually lip line my lips with a brown lip liner. So after the brown lip liner, I usually apply the red lip towards the middle of my lip and then branch it out to the end so that it creates like an ombre effect. And I always have to check if I get red lip on my teeth because it always happens and I always have to wipe it off. And now that we have a red lip, usually the last thing that I do, I usually go in with like an under eye I don't usually use a pencil because I wear contacts and my eyes are always watery and anything I can do to keep my eyes from watering, I do. And I'm gonna use the darkest shade of my palette, this dark black here, and brush under my eye. It's just something extra that I do. And lastly, I'm just gonna go in with some setting spray. This is e.l.f. setting spray. 
and this is the finished signature ooh -ah -la makeup look. HBCU dance lines are very rich in both legacy and culture. It's an integral part of not only the marching bands that are part of the HBCU, but the HBCUs in general. Marching bands come and bring fans and play at every football game and just help build school spirit, culture, and camaraderie. And to be able to dance alongside the Showtime Marching Band every Saturday has been not only a privilege, but an honor. And just help bring um, positive school culture to Howard University has been absolutely amazing. Hair is a very big commodity on the uh, Ulala -la dance line. And usually, or towards the beginning of the season, we usually plan out our different hair looks. So for important games, such as homecoming and important classic games, we like to, you know, go all out and also pair our hair with our different uniforms, whether that be we're releasing a new uniform that the world has never seen before. We always like to pair our hair with it, as well as our makeup looks. So with hair, this season we went with a 14 inch body wave, which I don't currently have on. And then we also went with a bob cut for this year. Um, and our bob was like a really big hit this year. Everyone um, seemed to love it. But with our hair looks, whether it be the body wave, you usually curl that and that takes a little bit more prepping time because we have to pin curl it at night and then we usually put set it with like bobby pins and then hairspray so that when we're ready for game day we take it down and the curls are nice and fresh and we're ready to go with the bobs it's a little different we usually come to wherever we're going to get ready and then flat iron it from there because of the bobs can be a little bit temperamental at times. Um, so we always have like a curl and iron and a flat iron on standby. So if you come on the Ulala dance line and you have kind of tattoos and piercings, it is advised that you cover them up so that we're all very uniform and we all look the same. So if you have a tattoo, um, it usually recommend that you use Dermablend to cover it up as it is sweat resistant and it can hold throughout the whole game. And like I said, these are all guidelines that help us look more in unison and more seamless as a collective. What we pack in our bags usually stay pretty much consistent, but sometimes they vary. So prior to every call time for a game or performance, I'll send out a packing list to the whole team. So uniforms, hair, makeup, all character shoes, um, tights, extra tights, extra tights, extra tights. <laughs> we call them box tights and these are the tights that I usually wear. I usually get the extra long because I'm super tall. So my advisors actually carry tights in their bags on the field and off the field so that if we ever get a rip, we can change them. So one of the most important games of the year is homecoming. Homecoming is a time where alumni and current students all come together and just soak in the rich legacy culture and amazingness that Howard University has Offer. So our homecoming feature, which is during the halftime of the football game during um, homecoming, um, is one of the most highlighted moments of the season. It's where we bring our best technique, our best movements to the field and show everyone what the Ooh La La dance line has to offer. I like to call it game day mode. Mental health and wellness is very much a crucial part of what me as a captain like to emphasize on the Ooh La La dance line. The team can be very taxing and whether that be um, always at rehearsals and just trying to manage everything al alongside being a Howard University student. So something that we started at band camp this year was just having an affirmation circle and that's just where we all go around and just say one of our favorite affirmations and then the whole team repeats it back. This is just has been a crucial and important part of our season because it just helps us get into the right mindset going into game day. Being a part of the Ooh La La dance line, eyes are always on us. You know, we represent not only Ooh La La dance line, we don't only represent the Howard University marching band, but we represent Howard University as a whole. So it's important that we always carry ourselves in the most classiest and respectful manner. And that translates to on the field while we're dancing, to off the field and just attending classes and communicating with professors, as well as online and through social media. We usually get out of practice at like 10. And then if I have an assignment that I know I have to do or like work I need to get up on, I'll just go straight to the library. And the library closes at 12. So after the library closes, I'll get home, like I walk home, so I'll get home around like 12, 12, 15. I'll jump in the shower and then get into my night skincare routine. Acne wash by Neutrogena. Wipe off. Spray here. Brush. 
rub that in. Almost done. Try to replace up the grip. Bio oil skincare. Just a little bit. Face. My J roller under my face. Has a little bit. And with my facial spray. Cool. And that is my eye care routine. Before I go to bed, like I have humidifiers, so I'll definitely like put that on. And then I have like these lights in my room. I'll turn off the lights and put like the LED lights around just to like set like a more calming mood. I don't watch TV, so I usually just go to sleep. It is now 12.29 in the morning. I just settled down, got out the shower, got all the makeup off my face, but it has been, um, Amazing, an amazing, amazing day. Thank you, Allure. Good night.